Tigre and I are up in Sandpoint, Idaho at the home of Tamarack Arrow. We're picking up the CJ. We just had the Tamarack active winglets installed. It's in the other hangar. We're gonna take a look at one that is also going undergoing the transformation here in the hangar. So it's a really cool process. So in here, we're gonna start from here. In the cockpit, we'll have a little uh, indicator light for the Tamarack winglets. In here will be a control unit in here that for the light. That'll be then, it's the uh, in-op LRU or line replaceable unit. I'm just gonna give you an idea quick of what's going on here. Under here, under the belly, will be the ACU, which is the Atlas control unit. That's the brains that has the accelerometers in it. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So if we come along here, they've disassembled part of the wing. They're gonna attack, attach the winglets here, right? The active winglets. And on those winglets, we'll show you later because then you'll actually be able to see, we'll go take a look at the winglets in a minute over there on the side. This, of course, we've got ailerons and other control surfaces removed in through here. So this just gives you a quick idea of where all the components will be. Now let's go look at, take a look at the winglet. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Oh, so you're gonna, this is a new one that you're painting up? Uh, yeah, this is off of uh, another jet. So we're just repurposing this. Oh, nice. Oh, cool, that's really cool. So here we have one of the winglets, but only part of the winglet. So this is quite different than a typical winglet other winglets that you've seen before Tamarack came up with this design were passive winglets. So the winglets are in a continuous piece, an extension of the wing, and then come up to the winglet itself, right? So you have the wing extension and then the winglet. And the whole purpose of the winglet, well, is to give you better lift. And it does that by a couple of processes. One, it actually changes the aspect ra uh, ratio of the wing, it's just as if you laid out instead of this bent up, you had the wings, the winglets flat. That's one of the, it, the advantages of winglet. But what it also does by having this curved surface is it translates some of the energy from the wingtip vortices to lift. So on all wings, let's say that this was the end of the wing here. In a traditional wing, if you come up underneath here, you have wingtip vortices. Because remember, on a wing, there's higher pressure underneath than on top of the wing. So on a normal wing, if the, the wing was going to end right here, the, the vortice would come underneath here, would come underneath, because this is a higher pressure, and roll on the top coming back. Of course, that's also a problem for pilots because of the wingtip vortices that uh, can impact follow, pilots that are following your airplane, especially when the airplane is is slow at a high angle of attack. And that's the weak turbulence issue. So what happens with these winglets, not only does it change your aspect ratio because of the extra wing area, but it takes some of that energy. And instead of that energy coming here and just being wasted aft of the, the wing, it actually translates that into more lift. So that air, that, that vortice comes here hits here and you actually have more lift. So there's a couple advantages of that. And aerodynamically, there's some other features of, of winglets. So what Tamarack has done is incredibly unique, is instead of just making this a passive winglet, which would have been cool by itself, they've also put on the, the control devices here uh, called TAX, the Tamarack Active Camber System. And so what that does is whenever you extend a wing, you also put additional load on that wing. So what they've come up with, with their entire system here in the winglet, active winglets, is to put these load alleviation devices in here. So what happens, and we'll talk about that a little bit more about the entire system, but what happens is in turbulence, anytime you exceed 1.25 Gs, these tacks will actually move. And when they move, it alleviates any additional load from this wing extension. So not only do you get all the lift and the other advantages of having a winglet, but you can reduce the load on the aircraft and the wing, of course, by having these tacks, these load alleviation uh, devices here. It's really cool. 
<clears throat> and we'll come over here and show you what one of them looked like on this table. So here's one of the tacks here. So this will go on this airplane. So that's the tax that goes in. We're going to see ours in a minute. Thank you. 